<laughs> you like? Yeah, I like. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times games got review bombed. Appreciate it. I'm Mel, by the way. Tommy, this is my brother. Joe. For this list, we'll be looking at instances where players took to review sites to flood it with negative game reviews for various reasons. Do you feel any of these review bombings were justified? Voice your opinion in the comments below. Number 10. Spore. Review bombing, at least that exact phrase, is a relatively new concept in gaming. The first instance in which it was used was in an Ars Technica article concerning 2008 Spore. The PC game allowed players to create their own unique creatures, taking them through entire evolutionary cycles. However, Spore drew the ire of gamers for something that had nothing to do with its gameplay. EA included problematic DRM software that limited players to only three installations. Any change to a PC would trigger another installation, and when you ran out, you'd have to contact EA support. Understandably frustrated, players flooded Amazon with one-star reviews over the issue. Oh, EA, if only you knew what you were unleashing onto the world. Number 9. Fire Emblem Three Houses Three Houses is a fantastic entry into Nintendo's long-running RPG series. Its characters were wonderful, its narrative came with a nice helping of replayability, and it sold better than any past installment. But as we've seen several times, review bombing isn't just used for bad games. Shortly after release, Three Houses began getting review bombed by some Metacritic users, seemingly due to it being Switch exclusive. I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. The very same thing happened to another Switch exclusive, Astral Chain, just a month later. As that came from third-party developer Platinum Games, it makes a little more sense, even if the method of voicing frustration was juvenile. But Fire Emblem has been a Nintendo exclusive since its 1990 debut. Thankfully, Metacritic deleted those unnecessary reviews. Well done, Teach. I may have to take this seriously after all. Number 8. Mass Effect 3 But look at what humanity has achieved. Since that discovery, we've advanced more than the past 10,000 years combined. Spore may have been first, but the review bombing of Mass Effect 3 was the first high-profile case and elicited a response from the developer. The final entry's controversial ending had been discussed ad nauseum, making it one of the most talked-about endings in gaming history. And when the game released, the vitriol was intense. I thought the Citadel was the catalyst. No, the Citadel is part of me. I need to stop the Reapers. With a boiling down to a simple decision, rather than the multitude of choices made across the trilogy, players felt cheated and voiced their annoyance by review bombing the game on Metacritic. Day one paid DLC, a supposed dumbing down to reach a wider audience, and homosexual relationships also frequently appeared in negative reviews. But to appease the biggest complaint, Bioware released an extended ending as free DLC. Number 7. Borderlands 3 No way. Go! Let's do this! <laughs> Got it! When a new entry in the looter shooter franchise was finally announced, fans were thrilled at the prospect of returning to Pandora. But for some, that excitement quickly turned sour. For PC, Gearbox announced a year-long exclusivity deal with the Epic Game Store, meaning Steam users would be left out unless they wanted to take their business elsewhere. Many were angered, as they had purchased previous games through Steam, while others simply didn't like Epic Games as a company. 
Well, this is awkward. In response, players overloaded Steam pages of previous installments with negative reviews and scores. Just months before, the Metro series experienced something similar. However, Exodus was announced as an Epic Games Store exclusive 18 days before launch, and long after Steam had accepted pre-orders. We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. Number 6. Pokemon Sword and Shield The thought of a mainline Pokemon game on Switch was definitely an enticing one, but complaints began to pop up almost as soon as we got a look at the game. $60 for something that didn't look much different from previous installments on the 3DS, which launched at $40, was an understandable annoyance. Some previous entries also allowed for Pokédex transfers between games so that players wouldn't have to start from scratch. Not only did developer Game Freak nix this feature, but it also cut around 500 Pokémon, including Squirtle and Bulbasaur's evolutionary lines from the original games. Dubbed Dexit by fans, this controversy hung around long after release day, and it was the crux of negative user reviews on Metacritic, of which there were many. Number 5. Madden NFL 21 Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. NFL fans have been begging for the organization to drop EA as game publisher for what feels like forever. With every year, Madden NFL disappoints fans with very few notable improvements and an abundance of technical problems. 2020's entry was no different. As soon as the game released, players uploaded hilarious, bug-filled videos. But many others flocked to Metacritic to seemingly hurt the game as much as they could. A huge chunk play to regain that lead. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. While other entries have also been review bombed for similar reasons, including the 2021 follow-up, none made headlines quite like NFL 21. The PlayStation 4 version is currently sitting at a 0.2 user score, the lowest user score on the site. First down, here's White. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Number four, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Have the rebels figured out you wanted to be caught? Never cross their mind. EA really is a glutton for punishment. The publisher's 2015 Battlefront reboot, while visually impressive, was criticized for a lack of content. The addition of a campaign in the sequel got fans hype for an improvement, though that was quickly overshadowed by unbelievably shady business practices. I know. Hard to believe this is all that's left. The game's predatory use of microtransactions and loot boxes became a frequent talking point during beta trials. Players who were willing to pay actual money could skip through any grinding, quickly unlocking famous characters from the movies. These practices caught the attention of several government bodies, caused EA's stock to drop, and resulted in a whole lot of negative user reviews on Metacritic. Just like it did when they destroyed the first Death Star. We adapt or die. Number 3. Grand Theft Auto The Trilogy, The Definitive Edition I want you to take the speedboat and beat all the other shitheads to it. Then you bring the cargo here, okay? When a remastered trilogy with some of GTA's best entries was announced, many players were likely ecstatic to revisit them. But since we live in the present, we know that enthusiasm was undeserved. The trilogy launched with an unfathomable amount of bugs ranging from issues with physics to character models. It was total grounds for refunds, which the fan base requested en masse. Look what you done to it! This is for my brother! Oh. I trusted you, Tommy! 
Others took to Metacritic to bomb the collection on every platform. In case you hadn't heard from every corner of the internet, perusing each platform's release on the site would let you know. Rockstar did implement fixes via patches to the game a couple months after release, but the damage had been done and the goodwill had been burned. If there are any old people listening, go back to your homes. Florida does not want you. Number two, The Last of Us Part Two. <laughs> The review bombing of The Last of Us Part II is one of the most famous cases and best example of how problematic it can be. The sequel famously had several plot points leak, including the death of a beloved character and the fact that players control the supposed villain later on. While these plot points were completely different experiences in-game, it was enough for some players to hate. Why don't you say whatever speech you got rehearsed? Get this over with. Coupled with a lesbian relationship and the inclusion of a trans character, The Last of Us Part II drew out the worst hate the internet could offer. Of the whopping 67,085 negative user reviews, many zeros were posted less than a day after the game launched, meaning most barely played it, if at all. You're done. You want what I want, right? End it. Now. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Warcraft 3 Reforged Quote the loss. Yes. Only the energies of the High Elves' Sunwell can bring Kel'Thuzad back to life. Then what must be done? Review bombing can be an over-the-top response that isn't always justifiable. Other times, it's the only way for players to let companies know how royally they screwed up. Warcraft 3 Reforged is undeniably a case of the latter. A remaster of Blizzard's groundbreaking RTS game, Reforged launched with technical problems, underwhelming graphics, and missing promised features as well as previously shown cutscenes. But you and your people are coming with us. It be too late. I'm already gone. That would be enough to anger any fan, but Blizzard went the extra mile. Players of the original game were forced into a mandatory update to implement Reforge's gameplay changes, and Blizzard declared ownership of all user-created content. No wonder the game was review-bombed into oblivion. Tell him nothing. Only you can hear me. The Dreadlords cannot be trusted. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.